Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to another episode of Baruin Build. Today we are in 1.16 and I am super excited. So I'm actually recording before the next video comes out. And so this is actually interesting because I'm on top of things. Strange, I know. Usually I'm behind. That is hopefully... <laughs> <laughs> I hope that changes. I hope I get better at, the, at, you know, this whole YouTube thing. But anyways, last episode, what you haven't seen yet, but will have seen by the time this releases, is we built up this area here. And it is a shipping, like, cargo type of area. These are big cargo shipment crate thingamajigs um, that will be transported out to boats that are out yonder or they'll be right here. I don't know. I think maybe we'll put them out further out so that they don't. This area is like four boats that are going into the nether. I think that'll be like primary purpose for this because I'm thinking along this area here, there's going to be somewhere over here, maybe on the other side of that area. Is there's going to be a ship building area, as one of you suggested. I think that's a really great idea. Um, and so that's why we started expanding. So just to give you a good perspective from uh, the player standpoint, how big that is. Now, I have to go all the way around to get back to being able to see it. But I think it's going to really make this area feel nice. So what I did was made it so this entire area up here is going to actually extend all the way over there. And so we'll have sort of a walking area here. Um, and so it is gonna extend quite a ways. And then I'm gonna obviously tear it off. I honestly may just raise this entire platform here, uh, this entire forest, I may just raise up to this level and then actually maybe even have another level that's even higher in the center. I don't know, I'm kind of, whoa, man. I don't have feather falling in this armor. Um, the reason why we're in this armor actually is because I want to experience the nether at least a little bit like as if we were starting over. I've been seeing quite a few YouTube peeps that I follow, Fwip, Sausage, I've uh, been seeing them starting over and kind of like regrouping and totally going like no diamond tools and stuff. I don't really want to go that far because I did start this city and I definitely want to continue building it because I mean, look at it. It's awesome. Um, but what I would like to do is I have made sort of a middle ground. So we have unenchanted armor that is iron level. And so we aren't going to have any fancy enchantments to help us in case we fall. Um, and none of our tools like the Abraham Loggington is not Tony Tony, our normal axe. So he does not have smite. So I can't one shot pigmen. Uh, and I mean, we can't one shot zo uh, regular pig piglins anyway. So I mean, it's nice. This is a, like a none of these are my important things. So Abraham Loggington is a backup. Black Silks Aunt Hilda is a, back, a backup. Express Yourself is Dirty Chai's backup. Santa's Helper. Um, <laughs> it's my only diamond hoe. And so I I don't really care that much about my diamond hoe. Um, but we're going to go experience the nether. Oh, and a backup bow that does is power five. But it's nothing to really write home about beyond that. Um, but I want to experience it. Oh, OK. I thought we had a piglin already. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Um, oh, this is random. Did I ever show you the granite texture? This is what the granite texture looks like now. Oh, if you hear thunder, it's raining here. So sorry about that. But this is what the new granite texture looks like. It's essentially I overlaid the terracotta um, texture just a bit, just to almost blend the granite into itself just a little bit more. And I actually really like what it looks like. It's only one texture, but it works really well. It does have this re repeating white dot, but oh well, that's fine. Um, if you didn't see last episode, definitely check it out because that was a super fun build. Oh, I didn't even show the cool stuff. So back here, I actually have, you can kind of follow this like wooden pathway. This area back here, this leads to an, a almost a little town and look how nice it is when you walk in here. So one, there is a bed that's in here that I've made out of carpets and snow. Um, and I think that's really nice. So people are actually living in these lower ones um, because they don't get taken very, very like often. Um, and so I've made this little area here that look at this, look how cool this feels. Also, new trapdoor texture, that is the dark oak trapdoor. If you didn't see last episode, check it out. I talk about it there. Um, 
absolutely love this area. I think it looks so, so cool. Also, this floor blend, beautiful. Brown terracotta coming in clutch for darker, a darker brown that blends well, like all these light browns blending in together. Ooh, so nice. But this is supposed to be like a little poor person's area that they don't really have a house or anything, so they've kind of holed up here. And they've taken over living in these... Uh, these cargo crates. Now nobody's up there and I still need to actually finish some of these. They don't have these trap doors. Uh, most of them do. I did actually get around to most of them like that one does too. Um, and this one does and stuff. So uh, most of them are finished, but what's cool is some of these actually have interiors. So this one has an actual door and this maybe this is the leaders or something. Um, and so leaders, I say, as if it's like a cult or something, but it, they have like a little writing desk. Oh, the new, this is the new texture for the cartography table. I just changed the top and put a line right here and here so that this globe doesn't bleed off the edge because it no longer has a side globe, which honestly, I think this works way better anyways. So we have that now and we actually have a nice bed as well. Oops, set my spawn. Oh, well, um, and then if we can get out of here, let me get out. Let me, let me, uh. Okay, took me forever to get out of there. Then we have this area, which this they need some form of food area. So I actually made this cool little crop area, and you can kind of you can get up here with the stairs. So they're growing beetroot and potatoes because they can grow in dark places because their roots uh, are potatoes roots. Whatever a potato is. Yeah, we'll say their roots. I don't know. They grow in dark places, so I think that fits well. And then if you didn't know, this is actually a cool way you can make a ladder. You can you just do ladders and then trap doors, and you can actually climb up those, and I think that's really cool. Got a little walkway here to be able to sit, just enjoy the ocean view. I know this is probably not realistic because they would probably want to have one stacked up here so they block all vision to this area. But at this point, I think the city knows that they're here considering they're not smart enough to, you know, not have a campfire. Um, but they don't really care because they'll hold themselves up somewhere else and they'd rather them be here than like in the actual city itself. So uh, then we also have this area, which this needs to go down. And then we have another bed and stuff. This is a closer look to the bed. Can't get in there because of this, but that is okay. So this is a cool little area. I really like it. This is going to be replaced with a chain, I think. Actually, no, it can't. Never mind. And one final thing, we do have a cool little flying helicopter steampunky thingamajig up there. Very interesting design. Um, if you guys would like to see like to see a tutorial on that, let me know because it's a cool actual like it's totally original. I didn't look at anything. I just kind of built it and I actually really, really like what it looks like. So if you want to see it, feel free. Let me know down below. I'll make a tutorial on it. Also, a fun little thing on the inside. I'm not going to get up there, but on the inside of that is a masonry area. And so what I'm going to kind of say is that there was somebody living in there. We're going to shove a villager that's a mason in there. And uh, then <laughs> we're going to essentially say that this thing grabbed one of the ones that was on top uh, and someone was living in there and they weren't smart enough to go in the one that was below. So they made the mistake and now they've got they're getting taken away, <laughs> which I think is kind of funny. Also, that is going to be yet another one of those. And there's gonna, it's just a little bit higher. So it'll look like this stuff is actually moving in and I'm going to have it facing the opposite way. So it's like these guys are coming in and dropping one off while this one's taking it. So it looks like there's movement in the city. OK, all of that said, let's get into the nether because I have reset our nether and I have no idea what awaits us. I have not. You know what I realized just now, literally just now. We're going to have to rebuild this entire portal. Why do I hate myself? Why did I build such a freaking huge portal? I have to rebuild this thing entirely in the nether for it to make sense. Oh, oh my gosh. Actually, no. You know what? We're going to come up with some cool lore that makes it so we maybe make it so they're horizontal and they're like located in different areas or, well, nah. Nah. We'll just rebuild it entirely. It's actually not that hard to build. It's just a lot of, a lot of materials. Oy. Okay. Anyways, enough babbling. Let's go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait. Hold on. Look at you. You have ears. How cute. Okay. Let's go. Let's see what the Nether has in store for us. Oh. Oh. This is. 
this is not the biome I thought we might spawn in. It seems the nether has changed since I have, uh, since I last scouted this place out. Ooh, man. All right. This is not actually a safe place to be, really, because of the piglins and the hoglins and stuff. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this in my hand. But oh, look how beautiful this is! Like I know I've already experienced it, but to actually be experiencing it now, oh, this is beautiful. I really do like. This is actually a cool, pretty, a pretty cool spot. Now I would like to. Oh my, danger is afoot. I would like to explore around, just figure out what I, ooh, ooh, I, oh wait, I have gold on, Never mind. I don't have to be too afraid. Um, I want to find a soul sand valley and a basalt delta, and then compare our options for our nether build, because it's gonna be, ugh, scary. It's gonna be interesting because you know, I picked the Soul Sand Valley as to what I wanted to do uh, for our our build, our, our Shadow Isles sort of themed build. And I, I definitely want to do the Shadow Isles theme, but I, I honestly might want to do it more in the Basalt Delta because it looks so cool. But I could be convinced to try and do it in the, uh, what's it called? Piggy. Um, in the... Soul Sand Valley. The only thing about Soul Sand Valley is I may make a command block for where we enter um, that will essentially make it so that we don't, like, gas can't blow up our builds. Okay, this is something I know I'm just babbling right now, but coming out of there into this, this feels, I think the fog's different. This feels like a wasteland. This is awesome. Like, this makes the regular, oh, Oh, ooh, whoa, that's cool. I want to go in there right now, right freaking now. Oh man, look at all this. I could, I could just eat it up. Ooh man, I'm excited. I'm gonna explore this area and if anything awful happens to me, I'll be sure to record it and uh, let you know because it's always good content when the content creator dies. So I'm going to see what happens and see if we how we fare. I think we'll do fine. I think we'll do perfectly fine. They won't get mad at me if I break, uh, you know, their home very much. Ooh, I don't know what people were saying. This this block is awesome. That block is awesome. All these things are awesome, man. OK, I'm going to explore. Man, I haven't even gotten off this platform and it's already like super treacherous and it's obvious that it's treacherous. Uh, but it's super cool. Definitely really cool. Ah, what was that hit range? Oh my gosh. All right. That is some BS. That guy hit me from about 10 miles away. I don't know how to handle this because I kind of just have to go in. Whoo. Every time they like run anywhere near me, I'm terrified. What is that? Oh, that's soul sand. I forgot, I forgot my texture for soul sand. I'm um, just, that guy's stuck. So we're just gonna ignore him and whole pure death down there. Probably should have brought better food than apples. As tempting as this gold block is, I know if I touch that, Everybody's gonna try and attack me and destroy my life. So I'm just not going to, and we're gonna try and find the chests instead. <gasps> A strider thing. Make sure there's nothing that's gonna kill me. Okay. Oh, we have to get one of those. I want to make a stables that has those. Man, they look so weird. I'm so glad they went with that instead of just adding like a horse or a boat. I don't know. That is like a horse. That's another horse. But I'm so glad they went with that instead of adding like boats. I think that's so much better. Ugh, so many freaking hoglins. It's so difficult to traverse this area. Also got to say it's a cool feature that they get cold in when they're out of lava. Like that's so cold and so sad. I just I just want to put a saddle on you and ride you. But can't oh there's your friends why did you guys come out here i did find another chest 
but really had only thing I got was the snout pattern, which I think is cool. Um, maybe that's what we use for the Netherport uh, banner. If we make a banner for the Netherport city, uh, maybe that's what we use. I did also find that they the chests seem to be more hidden in these like crazy tunnels rather than like in the play the actual like ruin itself so i'm gonna probably get lost in here and then have to like just dig my way out or i'm gonna find myself finding my way out again ah here we are Ooh, crying obsidian beautiful and i will actually take the gold armor because i i don't want oh and chains i remember i did talk about chains i think Ooh, yes Okay, so Crying Obsidian. Oh, I am so excited for that. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Well, I found a Basalt Delta right up there. Now I'm gonna go, I think I came from that direction, so I I'm gonna go and try and see if my portal's over that way. If not, then, ah, yes, I think it is, because right there is, how hurt is that? Ooh, that's hurt. I may go back, dump some stuff at home, and then we'll come back. And I want to get a lot of basalt because I really think I want to use basalt in some of our builds. So I'm gonna go do that, and then I'll, I'll be back and I'll try and and we'll try and get some basalt. Also, this really doesn't have much use outside of just exploring, so this is probably gonna become a resource for Blackstone where we just full on destroy it all. I think that could be good. Was it this update that they made the changes to the ghast where you, they have to be like eye level with you? Ooh, is that, is that a soul sand valley? Ooh, it's right there. Oh, this, this actually would be perfect. The soul sand valley, they're so close. Both of them are so close. Uh, 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 let's, let's go check out the basalt delta. Because that one, in terms of design, I think I'm most excited for that. Wow. Just wow. You know, imagine if the overworld had this much atmosphere to it. It would be a whole new game. Like, oh, I cannot. The mountain update, whenever that comes out, I hope it's up to this level. Because this is so good. Like if it's constantly like lightly snowing like this in the mountain update, oh, I could easily just live in a mountain area. This is a very, very cool area as well. I don't know if we want to make this our, the area we build the Shadow Isles concept more because I don't think it fits. Um, I don't want to destroy this place by harvesting too much of it. So I'm going to go to the very, very back of it, wherever I can, and try and get rid of stuff there. What is that? That looks like a structure or something. I'm going to try and do that. Whoa, this place is big, though, um, because I don't want to destroy this. I think it looks really cool. And you can, it with soul soil and soul sand, I think, and water and lava, you can make basalt. So... Uh, only the Blackstone is really what I would want to mine, and I'm just going to destroy that area over there, um, the Piglin Bastion, because I don't really care. The Piglin Bastions are honestly bleh. They're squares that are really destroyed and terrible to navigate. Oh, I almost just ran into the lava. All right, got a fair chunk of basalt. Don't need a lot. I just want to see if it'll work in the color palette that we're working with for the uh, wall of Nether the Netherport city. Uh, we're not going to be... I don't think I want to build in the Nether quite yet. Um, I certainly want to use the blocks, however. So let's explore over here in the Soul Sand Valley and see if this is any good for our desire for our, our shadow isles concept i like the blue haze i may need to change the color of our soul soil texture soul sand texture because it's a little too brown or i'll change this color to match that i almost like that color more so maybe we'll do that um i think that could be good <gasps> wait what that just hit me through the freaking you jerk. Yeah, take that. Whoa. Oh, gassed. <laughs> of course. 
So this will work well. Ah, there we are. Ooh. I love the blue flame. Ah, oh, so close. You jerk. I do actually love this spawn. I think this could be really cool. Um, for we are pretty low and it's got a pretty good ceiling. We could make our portal over there and then this can have quite the cat. This is awful. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. To face skeletons, are they slowed down? Hey, at least they're slowed down. It would be kind of cool if they made it so skeletons weren't affected at all by the soul soil or soul sand. I, I'm going to get those two mixed up. I don't know why. Oh my gosh, look at all those pig dudes. Criminy. Anyways, let's just keep exploring. Might as well. That is a sound I'm going to have to get used to hearing. Take that, you stupid undead. Okay, this area is super dangerous. So it's going to be a pain in the butt cheeks to build here. I bet you I could take him. Told you. Told you I could take him. Yeah, this area is going to be a pain in the butt to build in. And it's honestly, this isn't that big. It's not nearly as big as I was hoping it was. Ouch. Is that another skeleton? Yes. Man, there's a lot of them. Run away! Guess I can't. Oh! Dude's a sniper. Yeah, there's not neat. This is just not that big. So, I mean, we could make something like down there, but I, I'm not really sold on this particular Soul Sand Valley. Now, maybe there's something more. My gosh. Oh, I just had my freaking just. Oh, every, oh, my gosh. Where's my shield? Oh, it's gone. Good thing I made another. Ha ha. Ooh. More gas. Man, okay, this area is tough. This is not a pleasant area to be in when you're in iron armor. That is for schnitzel. This is not freaking Link versus Ganon. I don't need this in my life. So this Soul Sand Valley is okay. Um, I, I'm not super sold on it. I don't think it's like amazing, but it's not bad. So I'm gonna go try and find another one that's hopefully nearby and i'll bring you back in if i do you know it'd be kind of cool building like a tower or something in that area there just in the middle of this lava lake that could be kind of cool so i discovered this portal this broken portal and i see this crying obsidian in the portal frame now these are supposed to teach help teach kind of like anybody who doesn't know that how to make a portal in the overworld if this is in the frame does this mean now i know it's in the corner so it doesn't affect the portal but does this mean we can make portals out of crying obsidian interesting all right so i am back and i've been doing a little bit of just testing with textures um not going to be a very long episode i don't i just wanted to explore the nether real quick and just see what it was all about so this is going to be like a little bonus episode i think uh just to confirm no that no doesn't work sad days doesn't work but here's what i've been experimenting with uh, i've been trying to figure out a good wall pattern to do for down here so i do really love our andesite matched with this our polished andesite matched with the polished uh, basalt i think is really nice i think this is a really cool combo so this i think we'll stick with um but this so this was the original combination this is dark oak acacia and then our nether brick i think that's a, a good combination an interesting palette uh but then i started experimenting this is the same interior but this i just thought was interesting if you combine regular basalt polished and then acacia it's almost like rotten log semi rotten log not rotten log and i think that's kind of a, a cool thing that we could you can do like in trees especially um, then getting into this, this is where I've been trying to go with the wall. And I just, I don't know. I don't know if I want to use this texture for our wall here. I don't know if it fits. I don't know if it'll work. So I think what we might end up doing is doing this, te this texturation for this wall down here. 
Um, or this. I just, uh, I don't know. Here, I, I've got another world that I'll show you some stuff. Um, but here's what the floor is going to look like. I really like this combination. I think this looks really great. So this is basalt, polished basalt, uh, the black stone, polished black stone bricks, and then the chiseled bl polished black stone uh, and cracked bricks as well. I think this looks really, really nice. And then I may actually end up doing this along the side here instead of even having a wall um, and doing more of like basalt walls that go all the way down into the into the ocean. I think this could be a really cool concept as well. Let me know which one you think would be best. Which one do you think would be the the best looking? Actually having structured walls or having more like they carved it out, kind of like this land, but that the basalt forms by the ocean. I think that that could be an interesting concept. So let me know which one you think out of these um, in terms of the walls, this doesn't like we can also do this kind of on the inside here or on some some portions. Or if we wanted to, we could go back through and change out the logs. I like the logs, so I think we'll keep the logs. Um, I do love this flooring, though. Uh, so, yeah, this is kind of what I'm what I'm leaning towards. But let's take a look real quick at the other other sort of things I've been working on. So here we are just looking at a concept, uh, a couple of concepts I've been working with. Um, so we've got our pillars, uh, just this is uh, what they look like taller. Um, and then the flooring and stuff would be at this level, I think. Um, and so it would, since it's going to incorporate this, this will blend in nicely. Um, and so the flooring is going to be like right here. So there's like a little guardrail and stuff. And I think that's kind of cool. Um, and then, so I've, I'm either playing with all Blackstone variants into one. Uh, it looks okay. I think the hard thing about Blackstone is the color is hard to match for one and two, the color, the, the color is so dark in spots that you don't get all the variation that you normally get if you pair other things together, if that makes sense. So trying to figure out if I like that even. Uh, this one incorporates the polished, uh, whatever it's called, let more just regular blackstone and just the polished blackstone uh, and then gilded blackstone. Though that, I don't think you can craft this. So this would be a pain in the butt cheek to uh, really, you know, get. So I don't know if I like that concept, maybe throwing it in here and there. Um, and then this is another concept I don't think I would want that, but I think that's okay. Um, and then having polished at the bottom, but you, this wouldn't even matter because you wouldn't even see that. So I'm just trying to figure out, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what in the world we're going to do because it's just so weird. It just doesn't work that well. Um, so I've got some concepts and stuff. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think the walls should be made out of, if it should be made out of Blackstone at all, um, or if we should just stick with our original concept. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I know it's been a quick one, but hey, I wanted to check out the nether with y'all and get some ideas going. So let me know which one, which concept you like out of these three or the ones that we saw in the other world. Um, and let me know if you like that pathway as well. I think it's all they we have some really nice concept concepts here. Um, just yeah. Let me know. I would love to hear your opinion. I'm on vacation next week, so I probably will not be able to have a video out um, the following week. Uh, but you know what? Maybe I will if I have time. Probably not, but maybe I will. That's going to do it, guys. If you like the video, leave a like in real life, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. Uh,